Oh man, you think Biden's policies are hurting America? Like, what, what are you, mentally competent or something? Let me dumb it down for you to help you understand Biden's eight most misunderstood policies that are actually helping the country. Like number one, inflation. Most people mistakenly believe a good way to fight inflation is to stop causing it. But the Biden administration knows the best way to fight inflation is to keep printing money. That way inflation's protected from ever dropping. In border security, the best way to have a secure border is to eliminate security at the border. Biden understands that an open border is a secure border. Just like the best way to lock the front door of your house is to keep it open. And then you have racial unity. And nobody symbolizes racial unity like Biden. His policy on creating racial unity is to divide people based on race because a divided people are a united people. And injecting critical race theory into every educational program helps with this. And Mr. Biden, a very racially diverse white man himself, telling black and Hispanic people what they're supposed to think is another key for creating racial unity. And you have fuel costs. They're going way up, but that's completely inconsequential on people who don't own a car. Plus, Biden lifted tariffs on solar panels, which is super sweet and should help a lot. And if you still don't like it, then the Biden administration wants you to know that if you can't afford $8 a gallon for gas, then you should just buy a $50,000 electric car. And because we learned math is racist, we really have no way of knowing if $8 is more or less than $50,000. So it's pretty clear and straightforward that fuel costs are completely under control. Then you have his policy on free speech. Now, freedom of speech is fundamental to having a democracy. So freedom of speech must be protected and strengthened at all costs. That's why Biden heavily supports censorship. It protects freedom of speech from being used by citizens. Then you have his policy on leadership. I mean, Biden is a prototypical example of great leadership because everyone knows a great leader takes the responsibility upon himself to always blame someone else for what he did, especially if their name's Putin or Trump. Then you look at his education policies. Biden makes it possible for today's youth to have a brighter future by ensuring they get a great education. And how's he do that? By withholding school lunch programs to coerce schools into teaching children misinformation about gender so they can have the education necessary to succeed at being groomed at an earlier age. I mean, starving children to feed pedophiles is at the heart of Biden's progressive education policies. I love his gun control policies. I mean, you probably already know that the Second Amendment exists to allow citizens to protect themselves against a tyrannical government. But what you might have failed to understand is that good Good gun control policy involves being a tyrannical government who takes the guns from the population so they cannot protect themselves from the tyrannical government, which the tyrannical government does for the protection of the citizens. And that's it, his policies fully explained. <laughs> I assume this clarifies how Biden's policies actually work to create a better country full of people who hate their country.